Hello Aquarius, this is Star. This is going to be your maid love reading. Sorry it's a bit late, but better late than never. Okay, let's see here. What do we have for love for Aquarius? Let's take this one. Okay, we have the chariot. So, um, if you guys have been watching my videos, uh, normally I will do a love reading and a finance reading uh, at the end, but I'm actually going to be doing the finance readings in a separate video, so look out for those if you are interested. All right, what's um, crossing you is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I'm seeing here, at least for some of you, you're trying to get out of a committed relationship. You're trying to move on. Could be a divorce um, because the Ten of Pentacles is. A relationship that has been long-standing. The reason for everything is the Nine of Wands in reverse. So somebody just got tired of it all. Maybe of all the bickering, all the fighting. I've said it before, this whole quarantine thing is really putting relationships to the test. Any, uh, you know, cracks within the, the foundation, you are really going to notice them now. Okay, let's take them both. In the past, we have the Three of Swords in reverse and the Hermit. Let's see what's crowning your reading. Hmm. Ten of Cups reverse. You're not happy. That's for sure. And it's definitely like a longer term relationship. So I feel like this is probably a marriage for most of you. Or at the very least, I feel like it's somebody that you've been living with. Or you've been with for a long, long time. Like at least a decade, I would say. Let's see, near future. Okay, near future, we have the two of pentacles reverse. How do you see yourself, Aquarius? What is going on? I almost feel though like you're not happy where you are, but you're also not heartbroken either. You know, I feel like you're emotionally over this situation. You just want out. Um, and it may have been, I don't know, maybe you spent a lot of time like detached from this person or, um, or you just have grown. You know, you, you just have uh, grown spiritually and you're no longer, this is not something that you're mourning. This is just something you want to get away from. If it, if it resonates, of course, because it's a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. But if this is making sense, then this is your reading. How you see yourself, we have justice in reverse. So you feel like this person has really done you wrong. You did everything you could for them, and they did not repay you very well. How does your partner see you? Let's see. Nine of Pentacles. This is the card of uh, independence. So they see you, you know, you're basically just thinking about you, uh, which is not bad, you know, but they see you, like, seeing yourself as single already. Advice for Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so that may mean for you to stay put for, for a little bit, um, but we'll, we'll clarify and see. Overall outcome. Queen of Cups in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, specifically. Could be um, Scorpio, Pisces. And we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So that is you. Absolutely, you are not a happy camper um, in this whole situation. It could be because of children as well. You know, there may be children in, in the mix. And that is probably your main concern right now. But let's see. Let's see what we have here. Chariot. Two cards came out. The Nine of Wands again in reverse. And the Prince of Pentacles. So... 
you've given up definitely on this situation. This is not something that you're trying to salvage. You just want to move forward. But with the Prince of Pentacles, as much as you want to move forward quickly, move out of this situation as quick as possible, I think it's going pretty slow. So, yeah, let's see. And then the other clue, of course, is that What's crossing you or your challenge is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So getting out of that uh, commitment is a bit of a challenge. Let's see why. The star in reverse. That's your card. Aquarius. And chariot in reverse. So things are stuck. Um, I feel like, you know, because the star is in reverse, being your card, this is, and, and both cards here that are clarifying our major arcana, so I feel like the, the situation here, whatever it is that's holding you back is beyond your control. This is nothing that, there's nothing you could do about it at the moment. Okay, let's see why you have given up. Nine of Wands reverse. Princess of Wands in reverse. Prince of Cups. Mm. So in some cases, not all, but in some cases, I feel like you have lost passion for this committed partner. Um, and there may be somebody else in the mix for some of you. You may have developed feelings for another person. Um, or this could be your partner. Okay. Uh, especially for those of you who are with a water sign, it could be that your your water sign partner still has feelings for you, but you have lost all passion for them. You you may not be intimate anymore, you know, whatever the case may be. That's what I see there. Let's see in the past, this Three of Swords with the Hermit. Three of Swords in reverse. Ten of Swords reverse. So yeah, you've been over it for quite a while. Like I said, look, these both of these cards are cards of uh, pain, you know, um, a painful situation, living through heartbreak, but they're both in the reverse. So this heartbreak has healed. You're not, you're not, you haven't been in that heartbreak for quite a while. Let me see this hermit. Three of wands reverse. Ace of cups reverse. So when I'm, as I'm looking at the hermit, what comes to mind is like longevity, right? Maybe because he's older, whatever the case is, but that's what came to my mind. So my intuition is telling me that you may have just grown apart from your partner. Um, it just kind of creeped up on you, you know, over time, because the hermit is like over time. Uh, this creeped up on you that, that you, I don't want to say like you woke up one day and you no longer had feelings, but it was, it was like such a slow process that it may have felt that way. You know, it, 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 it was, it's like one of those situations where over time things just started chipping away at the love, at the passion to, until there was none, there was nothing left. There was no feelings left. You just kind of had a realization one day through um, self-examination, through, you know, uh, consulting with, with your heart, with your soul, what you were actually feeling. And I feel like you didn't see this coming. You know, you thought that you were in this committed relationship and not that, not to say that everything was okay, but I don't think that you were expecting to 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 realize that you have absolutely no feelings for this person anymore that's what i'm seeing ten of cups in reverse as what is crowning you and that that is exactly what that's showing there's no feelings left no love no passion you're just done no passion for this commitment the higher offense you could be dealing with a taurus some of you but um, I feel like you guys are just together or married or, you know, committed on paper. Um, and that's it. There is no feeling attached, at least from, from, your, your, from your perspective. 
Yeah, here you are. King of Swords in reverse. Let me pick, let me choose one more for that one. Judgment. Yeah, you've already made this decision. This is very clear. Very, very clear to you that you have no desire to be in this commitment any longer. Near future, we have the Two of Pentacles reverse. Okay, Empress in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. Um, I'm getting here that uh, there may be a problem with uh, financial issues that may be holding you back. That may be what is uh, creating a blockage. I don't think you're alone in this, um, quite frankly, being Aquarius or not. I think there's a lot of people in this situation right now where they're, you know, they're spending way too much time with their other half and they're realizing that, you know what, we just don't get along anymore. We really don't like each other. And for some people, it's like, I, who is this person? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things when you are able to like have your own life and do your own thing and go out and work and everything. There's a lot of things that you tend to, it's just easier to overlook certain things. And during these times, it gets a lot harder to hide, like I said, cracks in the relationship. Um, but at the same time, the economy, the situation, whatever it may be, uh, it's causing financial strain to where people are not able, even if they want to, they're not able to, to necessarily make the moves that they want to make. Let me get one more for that one. Two of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, Four of Swords. So there's a need to just take time and figure it out, okay? But but give it some time. This is actually called truce in this deck. So yeah, I mean, I, I it, it feels very overwhelming here in the near future um, because of the financial situation and you not being able to make these moves, especially as quickly as you would like. Um, but there is a, a truce, sort of just trying trying to keep the peace because there are no other options. Justice in reverse is how you see yourself. Four of Cups reverse. Justice upright. Seven of Wands reverse, Princess of Pentacles in reverse. So that would be the Page of Pentacles reverse. Yeah. I feel like uh, from your perspective, you did everything by the book. You never cheated on this person. You were there for them. You supported them. You did everything that you felt that you know you were supposed to do from, from your perspective. Um, however, you don't feel that that was reciprocated. I feel here also, let me see. There, okay, so I'm getting like there's nothing to talk about. Um, there are no, it's like there are no second chances. There's nothing to talk about. I'm done fighting for this. It's like emotionally, there's just nothing left. That's that's really what I'm getting here. You're rejecting any any thought of any kind of second chance. Okay, how your partner sees you is the Nine of Pentacles. Fool in reverse. Queen of Cups, Three of Cups reverse, one more, Nine of Swords. Um, hmm. Okay, so again, general readings are not for everyone, 
but I do feel that in some cases they they believe that you are already in love with someone else and and that that's the reason why see here's the thing I, I, I don't get the sense that there is any accountability taken on their part because they feel that you fell in love with someone else and that's the reason why you're leaving them. They're not seeing what led up to you not having feelings for them anymore. Okay, so they're not really taking that responsibility is what I'm picking up here. Your advice is the Knight of Pentacles reverse. So that is really a card of things being stuck. Um, no movement. Four of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. So again, another card about being stuck, but this is more like mentally. I'm feeling that um, there are things, you know, that you, you do need to figure out. I mean, we kind of saw that in the Four of Swords here. I feel like there is a need to take it very slow, to, even to the point of not doing much right now, other than creating or preparing for some type of stability for yourself. Okay, so working towards creating, a, you know, a, a new home, um, you know, however, however that plays out. But I, I just feel like there's still there's things that need to be figured out and like I said in the beginning for some of you there may be children involved so it may have something to do with that you know figuring out um, custody figuring out who's gonna live where that kind of thing okay <clears throat> the overall outcome we have the Queen of Cups reverse I'm getting here also, um, in some cases as well, I, uh, I'm picking up in some cases there, there was a third party, there was recklessness and there was a third party. Okay, it's kind of like what I picked up um, when, I, when I first said this, but it's, um, okay, so in some cases it's, your partner thinks it's you who fell in love with someone else. In other cases, it was them who had third-party situations. And they feel that that's what, that's what did. That was the nail in the coffin. That's why you don't care about them anymore. Okay. Queen of Cups reverse as the overall outcome. The moon. Very feminine energy. Uh, Cancer, Pisces as well. A lot of emotion. Six of Wands in reverse. Uh, for some reason I'm getting temper tantrums. So somebody may be throwing a temper tantrum because they're not getting what they want. Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Let me do one more. King of Pentacles in reverse. I, I actually feel this may be you. This may be your energy here. Um... I feel there's going to be some difficult times, okay? Uh, times where you're just going to feel like you can't take it anymore. You know, you're going to be completely overtaken with emotion because you you cannot make these changes, these moves that you so desire. You just want to get out of this situation. That's all that's on your mind. And there is an inability to do so. And I'm getting very strongly that it's because of a lack of um, finances, a lack of being able to like just get on your feet. 
All right, let's, um, we're going to pull some messages from, uh, Twin Flame messages from Mystic Moon. And we'll clarify those with the island, what is this called? Island Time Wellness. Um, these are, you know, what your partner's thoughts are with regards to this situation. Let's see what their thoughts are. So the first card we have is, I can't handle your words right now. Clock. Need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal, progress. So they really don't want to talk. They're not very communicative. They just need time to process this whole situation. The next card is, I wish I could take back the things I said. So maybe that's why they don't want to talk. Because when they do, when you guys do talk, it, it may be like a big blow up. And so sometimes it's better to just not say anything at all. Or at least that's how they feel. So I wish I could take back the things I said. We have the boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. I feel like uh, in a lot of cases there, they kind of threw out that divorce card or, or just, uh, you know, kept saying, well, maybe we should just break up or something like that. Like they were very quick to offer that as an option and you took them up on the offer. I don't, I don't think they were quite expecting for you to do that. I'm in a much better headspace now. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. I get the sense that they want you back. Um, I don't feel that at all from you. I, I think you guys are just completely done. You're just waiting for the moment when you can just pick up your things and go. Whereas they are still wanting to inch back toward you. Something is still missing for me, and I'm trying to figure out what that is. Cassette. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. They can't let you go. Uh, you know, they feel that they're if they go back and, and think about, you know, the whole relationship and everything that happened between the two of you... They could somehow figure out uh, a solution. So they don't feel like they're done. I got spooked. That's the last card. I got spooked. Coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. I'm actually picking up that this is uh, with regards to you and another person. I don't know if they were very jealous, your 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 committed partner. I, I'm feeling like there was jealousy. I don't know why I'm picking that up with these cards, but that's what I'm getting. I feel like um, they either saw you with someone else or they just saw you socializing in general. And it caused a lot of jealous feelings to, to be triggered. But to be honest with you, I feel this is more, it's more ego. It feels more like ego. It's not, um, I just don't get that they take responsibility for anything that they did. 
I feel like they're trying to put the blame on everything else except them. Hmm. Well, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Um, again, I don't, I don't know that you care too much, to be quite honest. I think you're pretty much done. But you can expect for them to continue trying to get you back. That's what I'm having. That's what I'm the, the, the sense that I'm having here. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I'll see you guys back here for the June readings. Bye.